I have a very important question I have that I'm going to be answering throughout this video. How are you supposed to talk through this? I mean, look at this. This thing is just, just so hard to talk through. I mean, can anyone even hear me through this? Yo, what's happening, everybody? So, yesterday, we got the first look at Mortal Kombat, which is now officially called Mortal Kombat 1. So, it is, yeah, it is indeed a reboot. And, of course, we saw, we saw a whole lot. We got to see the whole world. We got to see Liu Kang. Katana, Melina, Scorpion Sub-Zero, and of course we got some other stuff that was uh, announced on like the website, and of course, Shang Tsung. So, in this video, I want to talk about who the potential villain is for this new war for this new era. So, if you remember in the trailer, right when um, we were seeing all the characters, we see Shang Tsung enter through this orange portal and just pretty much kill everybody inside the Kung Lao. And pretty much, uh, he, he's just going on this killing spree, and, but then gets stopped by Fire God Liu Kang. And just then proceeds to die brutally by Liu Kang. <laughs> I, I wish I could show it, but uh, YouTube's being weird with how they're handling the uh, Mortal Kombat lately, so sadly I cannot show that. But... When you look here on the website, I am as the game as the trailer already told you, Shang Tsung will be available as a pre-order. But so why that that raises a bit of a question. So why isn't he a focused character for like a playable character already in the base game? Back a bit. For when Mortal Kombat X was coming out. Goro was confirmed as a pre-order character, so if you pre-ordered Go uh, the game, you would also get Goro. And the same thing happened with Shao Kahn. Now, for those two characters, Goro was not in the story. He was not. But Shao Kahn was in the story, but wasn't the the big the main focused villain of the story. At the very least, he did get um, screen time for most of the outworld portions of the story where he was fighting against Kodal for control over outworld but once that matter got settled he was pretty much out of the story until Aftermath brought him back to make him destroy almost everybody and defeat Liu Kang. Liu Kang personally we, de we don't even know what's also happening with a lot of the other villain characters like him or Shinnok or even Quan Chi. We don't know what could be happening with them as well. So I'll, there's a lot of suggestions on who could potentially be the next threat. Um, personally, that they could be facing to try and take over the realms. I honestly don't think Shang Tsung is the one calling the shots, even though he fully became the final villain of the the last universe where what where he got the crown he got uh, he absorbed almost he absorbed almost everyone's powers and stood against Liu Kang in the final battle i don't think he is potentially the big villain of this game especially cuz with how Liu Kang handled him i don't think Liu, Liu Kang when he re rewrote this era would bring back Shang Tsung only for him to still cause trouble and not him handle it. Cause there is a portion, there's like, that's what Snowblind actually did funny enough with Shang Tsung's character. So I apologize for the spoilers for it. So yeah, so in that universe of Mortal Kombat Snowblind, Kano rewrote um, the universe into his image while still calling, still being able to call the shots, still have his own fun while not have, having God status. Well, but still enjoying things how he wants to. And he has Shang Tsung work under him, but also plans for him to be potentially betray him, which does happen um, in the first act of the movie where he finds the power he needs to and tries to usurp Shanks to usurp King Kano, but that fails and he proceeds to just get brutally destroyed by Kano. I, just, I still did not believe that, but yeah, with how with how that was orchestrated, I don't think I think Lou would potentially 
have Shang Tsung still be in the universe while also still having him be um, strong and um, weak enough for him to still handle um, while in his universe. So uh, he was pretty much giving him a chance to still exist while also not being a threat. Because there's another line they say. Also, here's this. This is also what I think. Uh, this is also what also raised my suspicions. Because look, think of this moment. So he pretty much just destroyed everybody in the trailer, and then Liu Kang just pretty much ends him by doing this. Boom! He just takes him down with one leg kick. But then he also says this. Listen. You have chosen to defy peace. Then you have chosen war with a god. So. He's pretty much saying that you you have now you will now you are now facing judgment for trying to defy his peace that he has created for everyone. So even even him especially. So he he created peace even for Shang Tsung, but now he is now facing consequences for trying to do so. Going back to the villain discussion, I don't know why Barack is in this image. I was just looking through a bunch of images. I don't know why blood is there, but anywho. So, with Liu Kang, how he is now, who potentially has the power to be, try and overtake him and just like try and defy his peace? I'd say the only potential person, now that he has God status, is. I'd personally, I would say. Shinnok more than likely if he still if he somehow it still exists. But then again, I'm not sure if Liu Kang potentially tried to recreate the elder gods of that era. But it would stand to reason that Shinnok would be able to like be his is like potential equal in terms of strength, while also being like that um, that opposing threat. Kind of like how Chronicle was seeking it. Through, through Mortal through 11 where she was trying to recreate the balance between good and evil so Shinnok could potentially be that evil because he was a former elder god and now could potentially be the threat that Liu Kang faces might be reaching with this one but I need y'all to listen I need y'all to look let me cook with this okay because so if the realms are like going back to like if the whole universe is going back to square one then it would make sense uh, to have Onaga be there because Onaga was the original ruler before Shao Kahn took over. So potentially he could now finally be back in control now that Shao Kahn is, could be out of the picture depending on how Luke, Liu Kang re writes reality now. So, may, so maybe he can finally be, back, be brought back. He, he has a chance. I have, I have faith this man can finally come back. That is honestly where I am going to end it. Let me know who you think is going to be the big bad of this game and what type of Mortal Kombat stuff you want me to also do going forward. I plan to have a lot more in the future and I am so hyped to learn more about this game as we get closer to its release date. So. Thank y'all for watching, and stay tuned for more Mortal Kombat goodness, so I hope y'all have a good day.